playing peekaboo. Nah. I see you still blues. I see. All right, guys. So right now I'm looking at the Euro USD, and I'm uh, seeing some sales. Okay, look at this. This is one minute time frame, and you know, as usual, this is very risky though. And um, you know, I'm just going to react to what I'm seeing. Okay, so right now I'm looking at uh, this kind of a continuation pattern, right? We already see we had this kind of an impulse, and now this like continuation pattern before we see maybe price going all the way down and of course maybe have this level right here is a resistance okay so this is it <clears throat> so this is a double top definitely not flip my screen so that's like a double bottom yeah so i'm trying to see if i can get a good reversal pattern so let me just uh, have this right here maybe just this level right here something like this so first things first we have this level right here and now i'm seeing price you know maybe trying to give me another reversal right here it's an inverse head and shoulder or a head and shoulder right mm -hmm. so yeah i think i think that closed above so if this candlestick closes above i'm going to take that entry let me just have this Euro USD, so it should stay up. I'm going to take that sell position right here. <clears throat> you know how do we get a risk? Ten pips, at most, you know. Ten pips, something like that. So I think that's like twelve pips. So let's see if we get a close above, definitely that's below. Then I'm going to take that sell. Let's go. Right, so let's go. Where's the set? Boom. Then I uh, <clears throat> have my stop loss. 1.09380. Right, so that's it. I'll take it that entry. I hope you guys can see that. I don't know. Okay, I'm taking that entry. <coughs> All right, so I'll uh, adjust my levels. It's my entry zero nine two five nine two five nine. Right. Okay, so my take profit should be all the way down so let's just do this right here okay then have it all the way down in fact let's just go to the one hour okay so i'm anticipating she's having a potential of maybe going to target that level right here okay so yeah so the tech profit should be zero point i mean one point zero seven nine and six I believe so <laughs> okay yeah so just let it do its thing and uh, we will be back guys next morning guys and this is how our trade is looking like so let me just record my phone screen also as i record this okay all right so yeah guys something happened yesterday remember we took our entry i think around uh where was it i can't remember maybe around this level i can't remember but mm -mm, i think it was somewhere around this level probably and then you know you know like i said before this is just a risky kind of entry or strategy because i'm taking my entry of the one minute which is kind of risky so you know the moment I took my trade then I saw the market doing something that I was not you know anticipating so I'm talking about the market trying to you know expand you know because initially we had a, a smaller version of a bullish flag so that's why I did take that 
buy, I mean that sell position. But then the moment I took that sell position, we see the market started, you know, expanding that bullish flag. So then I just closed that, you know, entry immediately. But after some time, I saw the market, you know, giving me other sell opportunities. And then I went back in and this, you know, this is just how the market's looking like right now, you know. We are, we are still cruising nicely though, you know. We are cruising nicely. So yeah, let me just uh, have this right here. Let's have this right here. You see, so that's it. So if I take the market back to its original state, this is how she's cruising. Yeah, guys, I was supposed to take a sell or I mean a buy on now. Um, what's this? NZD card. And then I just forgot to take that trade, you know, because I was kind of kind of concentrating on uh, Euro USD and UCNZ card has already gone all the way up, which is nine. So yeah, she's up. How many pips? She's up eighty two pips, which is crazy, and uh, we are still. Uh, I don't know what's happening. Uh, with euro usd nowadays euro usd don't move i don't know why man. you know it's annoying i don't know why euro usd don't make much moves like you know previous years you know it did move but nowadays it's crazy so this is like uh 21 pips, 21 pips. Uh, we are targeting 124 so i don't know when we hit that crazy you know mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm about to head over and hit the gym, guys, and uh, let the trade do its thing, and we will be back. So guys, today has been crazy though. Yeah, so EURUSD has been giving us this kind of a pullback right here, you know, and I call that a bullish flag, but definitely that's a bearish flag. Yeah, so remember yesterday we took this entry right here, right? And uh, like I said before, we had an impulse right here, correction, impulse now, you know, correction. So I was anticipating that impulse right here. So now, the whole of today, we see that the market has been just going crazy, you know. But yeah, I, I think I understand what, what's happening though. So yeah, like I said before, I, I just called this as a, uh, another, I mean, a continuation pattern. So I'm not going to close my position. As you can see, definitely I'm back to drawdown. And I'm down, let me see how many pips. Mm, that's like three pips, yeah? So yeah, I was still anticipating this drop maybe until this level when I saw price giving me this kind of a, a structure, maybe respecting this as a, a, a high and also this as a high, another third touch. So yeah, so yeah, before that drop, you see, I had this right here. So I was anticipating that drop, yeah? So I think once we get a good reversal right here, let's see, maybe something like this, and uh, that will be a good indication that I think now she will be ready, you know, to maybe start going all the way up, right? Oh, sorry, all the way down. Let me just read this screen. So this is it. This is what I'm seeing, right? So if I take it back to the five, where we are, this is it. So yeah. Uh, like we said, lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high. Now these are lower low, and this is kind of a continuation pattern bearish flag before we see maybe price dropping all the way down. Yeah, so I'm still going to hold to my hold on to my position until maybe price takes me out, and, if, and even if price takes me out, yeah, we're still going to look for other position. But but I think the reason why this pair is slow is is this right? So yeah, we see already. Price was giving us a high, 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 low, high, high, something like this, yeah. So I think you know it's on an uptrend, right? Right. But I'm trying to sell this drop because I'm still anticipating that drop maybe to this level right here. So if we were looking for buys, probably if price was around this level, if we look for buys, I'm definitely sure she could have gone all the way up because generally we are on an uptrend, right? But now since we are still on an uptrend, but I'm trying to sell based on what I'm seeing. That's why you see the market is kind of slow. And I think this is going to be a slow one. If if she 
touch this level then i think that might take time so it might give out this kind of a move you know for a while you know something like this this is what happened last week i, I, I believe it took a week or two just to give this drop but then you see on an impulse phase the market just went all the way up right so yeah i think i'm just going to let this thing play out but if it stops me out then still okay i don't have a problem guys as long as i did you know uh take the entry based on my strategy right so the market is just the market okay so we won't do a thing as long as we went in based on our strategy so yeah we will be back this is the third day guys and uh, yeah we were stopped out actually i've just been stopped out some minutes ago on uh, yeah this trade guys so i don't know why this trade was crazy but you know i was in profit the first day the second day you know i think yesterday around uh, afternoon i think yeah that is when the market started going back you know on a drawdown <clears throat> and of course i was trying to understand why the market was doing that so this is it you know so the market has just been you know targeting my 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 stop level like you know playing pickup now i see your stop loss i see your stop loss now she finally hit my stop loss right here so let me just try to understand why this market is trying to play donuts but then what i understood is just that the market is trying to give us now a bigger you know pattern i mean a bearish pattern which is not bad my sale is still valid yeah but remember i was still risking 10 pips okay so i think you know when i took this entry around this level right here the market did not basically actually gave us a bearish continuation pattern and uh, we went I uh, think something like 23 pips in profit and now the market started pulling back you know from yesterday until now the market has just been giving us you know this bearish flag so yeah this is it so i'm still going to take in that cell so i'll just remove everything right here and uh, try to interpret what we see and uh, understand what the market is doing you understand okay so if we go to the 15 we need to look for more confluence that is if we are still looking for sales right so yeah mm, mm -hmm. so now i see i see the problem right so remember we took our entry right here okay but the market did not give us a clear bearish flag so i think that is why you see the market went up and now starting to create this kind of a bearish flag you know pattern or a continuation pattern so yeah if that's the case let's just try to understand this market more because you know we just need to evolve and uh, do whatever the market is doing all right so if i have this okay mm -hmm, it makes sense mm. remember guys this is the second trade of the week and today i, I think today is thursday yeah I, I, I took this entry on um tuesday evening yeah and uh held by position uh yesterday and now, now today i was taken out yeah so this is the second trade remember the the, the 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 first trade i did take was on a friday and i closed my profit on uh, monday all right that was 140 pips yeah so i lost 10 pips of this 140 win profit that we had on uh, monday yeah so it's just 10 pips yeah so it's just 10 pips so nothing mm yeah so i won't feel a pinch on that low so let's see mm. all right mm -hmm. let's try to understand what this joint is trying to do once we get what the market is trying to do then we're just going to react to what we see mm -hmm. let me take it to the four hour first Mm-hmm. Let's remove this. Uh-huh. Alright, so it makes sense. I think that's why the market was you no know, kind of pulling back because she may probably wanted to target this level right here. Mm. So that that is I think a good zone that we might look for sales right here. So if we get a good sales, you know, I I think we're still going to recover the 10 people loss that we just had, yeah. Mm. 
so i think let's see we just need to look for bearish properties guys right maybe let's have this one two three right yeah so guys i never gave out this signal to my vip well, remember like i said before this was a very risky trade yeah so if i gave this them this trade probably they could have taken that l too but you know i do manage my trade so i don't know if you know probably some would have gone in crazy and uh, maybe lost a good amount of money yeah but yeah i went in only 10 pip so mm, not bad you know mm -hmm. let's see what is this joint trying to do mm -hmm. i don't know if we have we should have this right here mm -hmm. So far, I'm not seeing a thing, so I'll just let it play out until I see a good pattern. But yeah, you know, she might move, but you know, anyway, let's see if we can get something. I was looking at uh, Euro in the D yesterday too, and um, just waiting to see the market structure. Once I see, or once I get what I'm anticipating, then I'm just going to take that entry. Mm -hmm. Not yet. Not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet. Mm, let me see. Mm -mm. So, yeah, so we missed on NZD card, I remember. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is GBP USD. I also missed on GBP USD right here. Mm. Yeah, so guys, one thing about GBP USD, the reason why I missed this, guys, I never saw that the market had already retested this, you know. So this was the first touch, then the second touch right here. So I was thinking, okay, this is the first touch. So I was anticipating the market to give me second touch before we drop. So if I, you know, saw this, I could have taken that sell right here. So yeah, I missed that, but then that's still fine. Mm -hmm. Let's just remove this now. Oh, mm. so it's crazy guys missing good trades but then the one that you take ugh, take ages to move brazy ugh. anyway still friday guys and um, i'm still okay though even if we took that l no even if i took that l i'm still in profit of the no, the win that we had, I had on uh, Monday, you know? yeah. So let's see, maybe real quick. Let me see if I can uh, analyze the pair, and if I get one, I'm going to react to what I see, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> 